This is where the ring of cameras begin. They're in all the buildings. You sure there's no way round? None. What we can do is act natural and try not look up. We'll stick out like a sore thumb. I say we should run for it. Why? They only have enough monitors to check each camera out for a few seconds at a time. The faster we're through, the less chance they'll see us. Hey, Java. The fast motion detector it works. What are we recording it again? Of course it works. That's weird. We got a prison girl here, looks like Ebony. What do you think? No, no way. You sure? Don't you think I'd recognize my own sister? Okay, there's no more cameras around for a while now. We're heading to mingle with the crowds. Did you say crowds? Where is everyone? You now this place used to be full. The only reason these losers come here is because they haven't got computers of their own. The thing is, about sickos like them, they're gonna get bored with what's in their own heads. So what they're gonna want is other people's fantasies. If you could supply that, you'd clean up. Now why is it I feel that one of your deals are coming on? Listen. I can get stuff straight from the Techno's labs. Anything you can think of. I can supply you these. You rent them out over the counter for only use here. You get your pundits back. Can't hurt, I suppose. I'm offering you an exclusive deal here. I don't get it. I've never seen these streets so quiet. There's people over there. Let's go check it out. Um, excuse me? We don't want to make a scene. Better give it back. I'm sorry. No sudden movements. Keep your head down and talk quietly. Relax. If I was going to bring you in, you'd already be there. How did you find us? Superior technology. What else? What do you want? We need to talk, little sister, but without those two around. I've had enough of this. Let's move. Who was that? Just a beggar. Just wanted something to eat. Is this taken? No. Thanks. What for? For letting me sit here. Oh. Look, if you've got something to say, then say it. Okay, I want to say... Hiya! Hi. You want to be alone? Uh... Yes. Actually, I just remembered something I've got to go and do. There's something weird about Pat, isn't there? 
wanted you to know Pride and I didn't get together for a long time until after you'd gone. It's not like I just jumped into your place. It's okay, Celine. You don't have to explain. Some things just aren't meant to happen, are they? I guess not. I hope we can still be friends, though. No one's done anything wrong here. Sure. Look, I hope you and Pride are happy. You're very well matched. Thanks. That's very generous. Hello? Is there anyone here? Edward. <laughs> hey. I can't believe you're actually standing here. Uh, nor can I. It's so good to see you. Hey, have you guys got any food? We're starving. Yeah, we've got loads. Come on. Amber, it's hey. so good to see you. Uh, where's the baby? Oh, no, he's fine. He's with Trudy. Jay. Hey. Hi, Ebony. Hi, Celine. It's good to see you. We've decided to stop running. I've come back to fight alongside you, if you'll have us. Of course we will. It's the best news we could have hoped for. It's excellent. Oh, is that so? What are these people doing here? What is it, Lex? What's got into you all? These three turn up and you act like there's some reason to celebrate. I don't think so. We think three quarters of the verts are now using paradise. Most of them are already in the dependent stage. Mm. No violent incidents in the last 24 hours. Work output is rising back to 50%. What about the search parties? Still nothing. But they're not wasting their time. They're rounding up... Look, I don't care what else they're doing. I just want those two found, all right? Oh, glad you could join us. Sorry, a couple of things came up. You know what I don't understand? Is how we can get a whole city to do what we want them to, but we can't find two measly people. I mean, tell me what the problem is around here. I really think we need to accept the fact that they got away and just move on. No. I don't care how many people it takes or how long it takes. We're going to keep on going until we find them. Nobody takes Ram on and wins. But Ram... Ram's right. We can't drop this. Good. Thanks. Someone is finally making some sense around here. Well, maybe Mega would like to tell us what he has in mind. I don't know yet, but it's like Ram says, nobody takes us on and wins. I don't care what I have to do, but I'll find them. That's a promise. That there is what I like to hear. I mean, determination, commitment. Why don't you think like this guy for once? <laughs> They said they wanted to leave, and we took a great risk to get them out. And now they're back. We're all supposed to be part of whatever this new plan is. I say enough. Getting rid of Ram isn't a new plan, Lex. It's what we all want. In our own time, the city is at peace. We should be taking a breather, and not rushing into some crazy new fight before we're ready. The only reason why the city is peaceful is because of this new program. We have to act now, or it'll be too late. We saw some kids using the stuff, Lex. They were like the living dead. Surely you don't want that. Better than the living dead than actually dead. You don't have a solution. You don't even have a plan. So what are you saying? Everyone should just give up and let Ram have what he wants? What I'm saying is you should get out of here and get on with your lives. We can deal with our own problems in our own way. Well, if that's how you feel, we won't outstay our welcome. No! It's not up to Lex to say who's welcome and who isn't. We'll take a vote on it. All those in favor of them staying? I think you'll find that's a majority, Lex. Discussion over. You don't think he has a point? How do you mean? It's not too late for us to change our minds about this. No. This is different. We've got Amber with us. The people love her. I know that if we can show her to them, they'll follow her. You see her leading all this? Why not? I think she should lead after we're finished as well. That's if she'll stay. Excuse me? Are you asking me to risk my life so we can hand the city over to Amber? No. Look, this is about getting rid of Ram. What happens after that doesn't matter because we'll be gone. Right? Right. Ebony, what's the matter? You still want to go, don't you? Yes. I'm 
sorry. I'm just worried that something will happen to you. Then don't worry. This is going to happen, and we're going to have our future. Sure. Who do they think they are? Just when things are going back to normal, they march in here like they own the place and expect everyone to jump up to attention. Which is just what the idiots do. Lex, why don't we leave? What? Are you crazy? No, I mean it. Let's do what they should have done. Get out of here and start a new life. No! This is our place and we're not letting them drive us out of here. I don't care. I've had enough. Of what? You don't get it, do you? All my life, my sister has made my life a misery whenever she's been around. And when she split with Jay, I thought, great, she's off my back. <laughs> so what happens? Bang, she comes back. I've had it. Babe, I didn't know you felt so bad about this. What can I do? Well, she's your kid's sister, for crying out loud. Draw a line in the sand and make her pay every time she crosses over it. Whatever it takes, I'll back you up. <laughs> Tell her that if she messes with you again, you and I will both make her regret it. I'm going to do it. For me? Okay. I'll try. Dear Dee, whenever I try to speak to you, to tell you how I feel, something seems to happen and the words never come out. So this time, nothing can get in the way. I know I'm kind of geeky compared to other guys, and I know there's a chance I'm making a big mistake telling you these things. But the truth is, when I said I loved you, I meant it. I hope we can still be friends if I've got this all wrong. But I've never felt like this in my life before. And I had to tell you. I love you forever. Patch. Hey, you're up early. Mm. Yeah, thought I'd miss the crowds, you know. Mm, if you want to be alone now. Oh, no. No, of course not. Look, I'm sorry about what happened. Yeah, well, there's guys for you, isn't it? They're great at starting stuff, but not so good at finishing it. What do you mean? Well, he could have told me that he was with Celine as soon as I got here. But no. He has me believing in him until I make a complete fool of myself. The reason he didn't want to tell you straight away was because you got messed up by the game. He thought it would tip you over. Oh, come on. You're not falling for that, are you? You don't believe it? Honey, when you've seen as much of guys as I have, you realize they're basically cowards. If they think you won't like what they've got to say, then they'll clam up. But Pride did tell you. Oh, and you think Celine didn't have anything to do with that? Man, he would never have had the guts to dump me to my face if she hadn't made him. You think so? Sure. They'll tell you they love you when they want something. But when they change their minds about you, it's a different story. So, what's this job you got for me? And why is it so important I have to keep it a secret? You'll see. If you tell anyone about this, I'll skin you alive. You have to keep your mouth shut. Wow. And if I catch you using them, the deal's off. You got that? Yeah. Okay. I'll show you the places to go. Each time you visit, you take them 20 new ones and pick up the ones they've been using. You got that? No problem. But what you don't do is let on you're delivering to anyone else. Why is that? Because each of them has to think they're the only ones getting it or they won't pay as much. But what if they find out? It's your job to make sure they don't. Unless you want someone else doing the money. No, I'll do it. Quick, hide. What is he doing? I don't know, Sammy. That's a very good question. 
we straight and defeat things out. You need to know that I am hereby drawing lines in the sand. Uh, what? Don't interrupt! I have decided that you will no longer make my life hell because that's what it's been. Every chance you've had, you've tripped me up and made me feel small. But today, it stops. From now on, you will not put me down. You will not tell me I'm stupid. And if you do any of that kind of stuff ever again, I swear I will make your life the misery you've made mine. You got that? <laughs> What are you doing here? Nothing. You've got some little scam going, am I right? No. What do you take me for? I think Ram needs to hear about this. Oh, uh, don't. Okay. Uh, I was looking for a headset. I can't find the combination for paradise. That's the truth, I swear. I don't think you know the meaning of truth, Mega. But on this occasion, I actually believe you. You can, Java. Can I go now, please? No, wait. Why leave without what you came for? Here. Help yourself. Why? I have my reasons. After all, if we're working together, that's precisely what we have to do. Work together. Look, I didn't come back to do anything to you. I don't even want to be here. So why did you come back? Because Jay wanted to. The plan is, is that we leave here together once all of this is over. But I've got a feeling in my bones that that's not going to happen. Why? Because you think Ram's too strong? Well, why then? It's Amber. The way he acts when he's around her, the way he looks at her. There's something going on between them, I know there is. Ebony, how many times have you done this? You find a guy, you decide he's the one, and then you get paranoid. Come on. He's crazy about you. Has been since the day you met. You really think so? Yes. Now get a grip. Look, Siva, what you said earlier, there was a lot of truth in it. And uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean any of that stuff. Just forget I ever said it. Why did you give this to Megger? How could you do a thing like that? Hey, call it. He was desperate. Oh, you knew what you were doing. This stuff is for verts. It's dangerous. I don't ever want you to let him get his hands on it again. What I don't understand is why he told you. Because Megger is loyal to the chorus. But he set me up. No, you set yourself up. I thought I told you as a member of my inner circle guardians that I need to trust you. I think that's the problem, Ram. Can you trust Megger? I'm not concerned with Meg or my angel. I'm concerned about you. Did you write this? Yes. Aren't you going to read it? No. If you've got something to say to me, you say it face to face. I'm sorry. I just thought things would be better if I wrote them down. Why? So you could weasel your way out of another tough moment? You said something to me a few days ago that I took very seriously. And if you've changed your mind, you should have at least told me in person. But the... Shut up. 
It's not fair to keep somebody hanging like this and then dump them in a note. Anyway, you can't dump me because we weren't even together. But that's not what the letter says. What? Read it. Please. <laughs> Is it okay? Yes, it's okay. <laughs> Except I feel like a complete jerk. The way I see it, the thing we've got going for us is that the city's quiet. So the technos will be off guard. Sorry I'm late, fellas. Please, I'm all ears. So, that leaves us the question. What's their weakest spot? I say it has to be the power supply. Makes sense. Well, if the people can't plug into paradise, they won't go to work. If you've got a better suggestion, Lex, I'm sure we'd all love to hear it. I don't have a suggestion, but I do have a question. Who else apart from me knew that Jane was having a secret meeting with the Techno Commander this morning? Is this true? Yes. I didn't tell anyone because I knew certain people would use it to make trouble. And it looks like I was right. That is pathetic. So, when were you going to tell us? Well, he was never going to tell us anything. You see, he's making his own deal. That's a lie. I've been trying to find out what happened to Ved. Oh, two brothers trying to kiss and make up, is that it? Ved's missing. And we all know what happened to the mole rats when they went missing, the experiments that Ram carried out. What about this commander Lex told us about? He's someone I trust. And you're expecting all of us to trust him as well? If you want to survive. I think we should all listen to what Jay has to say. All right. As I said before, I'm all ears. I've been waiting for my contact to make a plan. I was trying to gather some intelligence. You wouldn't listen to me before, but maybe you will now. This guy is trouble. And she's probably in on it too. You take that back. Jay, no! She sold us out before, she won't hesitate to do it again. No! Stop it, all of you, right now! I respect Jay's judgment. And if he wants to talk to a contact in private, that is fine by me. You're more interested in your stupid ego and jealousies than you are in saving this city. Yeah? And what have you been doing about that late, Amber? You're absolutely right, Lex. Because I gave up too. Just like you did. I thought I'd lead my own life and not worry about the rest of the world. But you can't. Because that's what gives people like Ram their chance. Tysan wouldn't have given up, nor would Bray, or any of our friends. So what's it gonna be? Are we gonna fight the Technos, or are we gonna fight each other? Together. Together. That's the alarm. Someone's trying to break in. Never. What's happened? Where are the babies? Little Bray's safe, but they got Brady. The Technos got Brady and took her away. 